Hi y'all, Sarah here. Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited that you guys are here today to watch me pour a Spangled Banner Patriotic Pour. This is a dustpan pour that I will be teaching at PourCon and in my dustpan pour class, you guys have an option to do a regular style dustpan pour or you can turn it up a notch and do uh, the Patriotic Pour, which is a abstract American flag. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to check out the link below for the Poor Con website to sign up for your classes today. I am very excited to meet so many of you that are coming. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm really shocked and surprised on how many are taking my classes and I'm really, really thankful to be able to be included in this huge, uh, event in Vegas, August 6th through the 9th. So Tanya Munt is up after me. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and we are going to create an abstract flag. Uh, I am teaching the dustpan pour at PourCon, Las Vegas, uh, August 6th through the 9th. And one of the options is just a regular dustpan pour, similar to this, but we're going to have like different colors going on. This was just a quick piece. And then the second one is an American flag, an abstract American flag. Um, so. We're gonna get right to it. My colors, I'm using Bordeaux Red. And in the Bordeaux Red, I added this little piggy in Grenache. And I had tested it with just the piggies. I did Grenache and Simplicity, uh, but it, the piggies can be kind of transparent, so it didn't give better definitive lines, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, what I'm gonna do is just regular white, but I have the, uh, like I just said, the Bordeaux red with the Grenache mixed in it. And I don't know if you guys could see the shimmer, but I promise you it's there. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this dried and we'll see the dried results, hopefully. Uh, the AC is now on in the studio and I can't necessarily control that. But anywho, so I'm gonna do the dustpan pour area here. Uh, so when you're looking at it on the screen, it will be in the correct orientation. We're gonna do seven red stripes, and then we are going to do six white stripes. And I'm not gonna go all the way up, I'm only gonna to go to about two thirds of the way. We're gonna start here. And I'm not starting too thick just yet. just gonna run it down the canvas for now. You're not gonna worry about whether or not it's all filled in. perfect as I want it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, somehow I'm gonna have to fit over a couple on here. And I'm just gonna marry these two cups of red. There we go. Uh, 
and then one final swoop of the red. All right, we're gonna make sure our corners are all covered. All right, now here. So we're gonna go this way and let it run off. And then we're gonna come this way and bring it up just a smidge. Can we see the bottom there? All right, so it looks like we are doing good here. I'm just gonna bring this up just a smidge more. And right there. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer up a 16 ounce cup. And I have anthroquinone blue here. And this is Golden's anthroquinone blue. I have Artist Loft Flow white, I'm sorry, Artist Loft Soft Body White acrylic paint. And with a couple of scoops of satin enamel and then I also have 24k gold I'm going to do some white in here Probably gonna use maybe some other blue, like a cobalt blue would be really, really good. I'm going to put white in my cup. There we go. And no, not my cup, my dustpan. I kind of just want this lip to be wet. Maybe we'll add a little bit of the blue too. And then we're going to come in and we're going to pour this. Start with a straight pour. All right. And I'm actually going to come and swirl through it. And we're gonna line it up just over. I move this this way a little. You know what? I'm right-handed, so we'll go the opposite direction. A little over the edge. And that's all we're gonna do. Just gonna put that on the sidelines. 
Okay, now we're gonna move this back, over, down, whatever direction we wanna do it in. Actually, you know what? Let's give it a torch. All right, let's bring it back. Yeah, I'm loving this. So, that is that. We're gonna bring you guys in for a close up in just one minute. I'm gonna touch up some corners and then we'll be back. All right, so here you have it. The Spangled Banner dustpan pour. This is so much fun to do. And it gives the whole new twist on the American flag in an abstract manner. So I'll be teaching this and the regular dustpan pour class. It's a combo class. So if you um, wanna take the regular dustpan pour or you wanna take the class, you could do the regular dustpan pour with a solid background or you can do this in my class, uh, we used Grenache by this little piggy and mixed it with the fabulous Bordeaux Red. And uh, the pour con link will be below in the video description box. All right, guys, so this piece is, I'm gonna say almost dry. It'll be dry by probably Friday afternoon. Um, but I probably will not be able to get the dried results fully in a video in time for the collaboration video. Uh, so um, that is that. And I don't know if you guys can see, but Bordeaux Red has a bit of a shimmer to it, which I'm really excited about. So that is the final, I don't know if I can get you guys up fast enough. There you go. Uh, final results of this piece. And I'm loving all the cells. They remind me of the stars. And uh, that is that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us today in the PORCON collaboration. Be sure to check out PORCON in Las Vegas, August 6th through 9th. The link is below. And I hope you come take my class. Bye.